Hi, let's understand the transport network architecture. So here we are comparing the transport network connectivity between the 4G and how it looks like in 5G. So we have a connectivity between the baseband unit and the radio unit, which is also termed as front hall. Here the front hall in 4G is provided by a protocol called CIPRI, which is a common public radio interface. This protocol has certain processing and this processing can give or it can achieve the maximum throughput of up to 10 Gbps. Now in 4G, if you remember, the targets are not that stringent in terms of throughput and latency. So 10 Gbps would be enough in that case. But when we go in 5G, the requirement, if we go back to the previous lecture, we can see the peak data rate that's to be achieved is around 20 times higher than that of 4G. And latency again is 10 times lower as compared to that of 4G. So if we see here to achieve the stringent requirement of data and latency, we must have a better protocol version which can achieve such kind of requirements. Now here in 5G, the front hall protocol is evolved and it is termed as enhanced CIPRI and it can achieve maximum capacity up to 50 Gbps and a lower latency of less than 0.1 millisecond. Now, if we go beyond the baseband unit in 4G, which is here the distributed unit and the central unit in 5G, now there is a new connectivity which is defined in, in case of 5G NR, which is the mid hall here in this case. It can be provided using both fiber as well as the wireless backhaul through microwave. And the requirement is as compared to front hall, it is not that stringent because most of the real time sensitive data or the processing has been done in the DU itself. But mid hall still has a quite a stringent requirement. And if we see the requirement here is around up to 10 Gbps in terms of data rates and latency of less than two milliseconds. We can keep the CU and the other part of the core network at the edge location. And this distance between the DU and CU can be less than 200 kilometers. So these are the standards or definitions that are there currently defined in the new ecosystem. Now, if we go back to the backhaul, which is connecting the edge location to the core network. Now at the edge location, we would have number of central units and UPFs, and there is a, quite a heavy lifting to be done at the backhaul. So here the requirement for the data is going up to 100 Gbps and the latency requirement is less than 10 milliseconds.